cute hairstyle. If you want to learn how to do it, keep watching. I, I love you, friends. Bye. Hey, friends. So, friends, we're doing a simple hairstyle today. And to start off, I just grabbed my spray bottle and just sprayed her hair a little bit. And then we're going to split her hair in the middle. And I'm just using the tip of her nose as my guide. And then we're just going to clip one side up just so that it's out of the way while we're working with the other side. And then we're just going to create a part on this side and we're just basically splitting the hair in the middle. And friends, I want to mention any products that I use in this video will be in the description box for you. And then I'm going to clip both sections up just to keep the part and um, until I'm ready to work with them. So now for the other side, I'm going to create the same part and I'm going to use that part that I parted on the other side and that's going to be my guide in creating this part. So now we're going to start off at the back and I'm just creating a ponytail here but first I want to spray it with my spray bottle and then make sure it's all detangled. And then I'm just going to add some of this fruit passion control paste to her edges. So I first wanted to show you which way you don't want to position the ponytail, which is right at the corner, how I am putting it in there. Just because it doesn't flow nicely, it doesn't look as good as it does when you position it what, where I'm about to show you. So before I get the ponytail in, I am just taking my fine tooth comb and I am just smoothing out the ponytail. But you see where I'm positioned, how I am positioned right behind her head? That's where you want to be positioned to put the ponytail in. You want that elastic to be in the middle of the part and closer to her edges at the bottom. And then you're just going to want to do the same thing on the other side. So just make sure the hair is all nice and detangled and grabbing some of the fruit control paste and getting those edges. And then I'm going to use my fine tooth comb to smooth out the ponytail before I get the elastic in and just trying my best to make sure that they are in the right place on both sides on the same place and then I'm just gonna get three braids in here so what I am doing is first I moisturize the hair and then I'm detangling it but then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Shea moisture butter mixture that I make and I'll leave that in the description box and then I'm gonna split the hair into three sections and then I'm gonna braid each section and I did braid the hair all the way to the end and also you want to make sure that the, you, the hair is all detangled just because it will make for a nice, smooth, clean braid. And then I just took all three braided pieces and braided it into one big braid. And I put an elastic at the end, but I should have just put a clip because I ended up taking that elastic out anyways. And then I just did the exact same thing on the other side. Now I'm just going to put a ponytail in the two front pieces. And what I did is just made sure the hair is all moisturized and detangled. And then I just put some of the control paste on her edges. So now I'm just going to put the hair in a ponytail, but I'm also going to combine that ponytail, that braided ponytail with the top ponytail. So now see I told you I just ended up taking that elastic out so you probably don't want to put an elastic in there. Um, but yeah, just I'm just unraveling the hair and so that I can just combine that hair with the rest of the hair. And then I'm just going to end up doing a couple of braids but first I want to make sure the hair is all moisturized and I did use a little bit of that Shea Moisture mixture and then I'm just adding two big braids. And then I'm just going to take those braids and I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail. Then I'm just going to secure it with a hairpin. By the way, I wanted to give a shout out to Catherine Scale. We love you, Catherine.
And then I'm just adding some of the control paste to her edges. And then to accessorize, I'm just going to use some hair cuffs and put them in her braids. And I got these hair cuffs from AliExpress, but I also know that you can get them from Amazon and you might be able to get them at your beauty supply store. And I will have links in the description box for you. And then I added two gold cuffs at the back where her elastic is. Um, I, these are a little bit wider than the red ones that I have and I got these from uh, this cute little shop african shop beside my house but i will see if i can find some online for you guys and i will put that in the description box as well so my friends i hope you like this cute simple style and do it in your little one's hair if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more hair tutorials we love you friends